Welcome to another painting tutorial. In this one we're going to look at the Orc Boar Boys. So these are from uh, Warhammer Fantasy. These are new sculpts, or relatively new. And uh, so I painted up 15 of them from my Orc Horde. And uh, let's look at what I did to get there. So first of all, I mixed up some sandy sort of stuff and uh, mixed in some uh, paint in there. And that's applied to the bases. So the idea was to help save myself some time there. So I did all that. These guys are uh, base coated with a dark brown and then uh, highlighted with a uh, Kemri brown, the foundations, and then some Kemri brown uh, on the skin parts there, some gray for the hooves, uh, Macarite red for the tongue, and um, Calthan brown as well in there. Okay, so there's the, the base coats of the bores, um, kind of ready to go. So yeah, Calthan brown on the, the, the thing here, on the, the, the fur just dry brushed on and uh, there's some of the uh, Kemri brown. Okay so uh, doing some highlights, so mixing in bleached bone in there and uh, dry highlighting that up. It's hard to kind of tell exactly but uh, you'll see as well mixing in uh, so some astronomicon gray in there, so the tips of the hooves and uh, yeah, working my way through there. Uh, also dry brushing the, the bases, uh, as you can see some of that didn't go on quite as well that experiment wasn't uh, wasn't overly successful, but there you go. Uh, this one here is the 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 big boss or the uh, I was going to say knob, but that's 40k. Anyway, so the, the that head has uh, black, and then I use some chainmail bits to look like uh, chipped paint. Okay, now the boys, because there's a lot of flesh showing in them, I spray painted them a green, so just a medium green there, nothing too fancy. And uh, they're already fully assembled and just tried to make sure everything got in, all the cracks. Uh, then I went over and painted uh, bolt gun metal on any of the metal bits. So that between the bolt gun metal and the um, the green, it covered lots of the stuff. So the only thing really left is some of the brown bits and to redo some of the flush. So brown, uh, did that all base coat with Calthan brown. And uh, tried to keep relatively within the lines, but it was a little sloppy on things like the green. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm highlighting all of the green areas with a scorpion green, so a nice bright green, and I'm also covering up any of the brown stuff that I messed up with that. And so trying to paint on some of the, the areas there. So doing this relatively fast, not super, super clean, because I know I'm going to be covering a lot of that up with some washes. And here's my big pile of orcs all ready to go. So there you've got base coat of green, uh, Calthan brown, bolt gun metal, and then scorpion green highlights. Okay, and I think I'm putting on a wash now. So that should be a Thraka green wash, and that helps blend that scorpion green. Uh, up on here, I've got a base coat of scab red, so a nice dark, dark red, and then starting to, to, to highlight that up with a uh, red gore, I think it is. Or it might be even mechrite red. Okay, now I'm using some of the Reaper paints um, for some of the leather browns in here, and so that's going to help differentiate some of the different browns. So started them all out with the uh, the Caltham brown, washed them uh, with the Devlin mud, and now I'm going to be just uh, highlighting them up. So the sort of the leather uh, pants, whatever that's going to be, just like a rather regular medium brown, but I'm doing these uh, leather straps, a, a different sort of a leather. And so there's uh, my pile there, as you can see, halfway through. Okay, and so now for the shields, uh, for the, the wood brown there, I'm using Beastil Brown uh, on all that stuff. So it's whatever wood, medium wood color you want to use. And doing the same thing with the spears and any wood. And uh, just checking out to see how they're, they're coming together. So I've added some static grass patches on the bases. Um, Red. I wanted a red sort of uh, accent color on all these guys, so that's just your scab red, uh, whatever dark red you want to use. And uh, I left some edges showing of the silver, and so I'm putting uh, blood red, or whatever your red highlight is, around there and trying to pick out some of the stuff. And um, yeah, these guys are getting pretty close to being done. So you can see some of the details there. So the uh, 
any sort of bone sort of stuff is going to have the Camry Brown base coat and a kind of a bleach bone highlight. Um, I don't think I showed it, but I'm sure I did a black, about a black wash on all of the armor. And I usually do a uh, devil and mud as well. So now what I'm doing is I'm freehanding um, onto this banner here, some sort of an orky design. And I think I just copied this directly from some of the Games Workshop art. And so I'm trying to outline the the shape and I'm trying to do something relatively similar on, on the opposite side. So this is just thin down foundation color and uh, using a fine brush to try to outline it. And then what I'm doing is just trying to fill it in. Um, you can see lots of paint uh, brush lines there but trying to make it as even as possible. Doing that on both sides. And now what I'm doing is I'm um, edge highlighting. So getting a nice smooth edge with a brighter color there and that's just going to help accentuate all of that and there's the other side as well and now what I'm doing just taking a bit of a shade and going in around things just again to sort of draw the eye in to give it a bit more sense of depth and uh, there you go it's all done so these guys are relatively fast except that they're cavalry so I find cavalry guys take about twice as long as regular ones so I mean the rider and the the mount basically you double your time um, got some of the uh, bleach bone on the teeth in here. Uh, did some red in the eyes, and uh, I think I've got some uh, some chainmail edge highlights on any of the silver bits, just to look like it's worn fresh on the edges. And the, one of the things I found disappointing about these guys is they they don't rank up very well at all. They rank sideways, but uh, the rows here you'll see that as I go sideways. The um, the bores are actually longer than the bases. So they end up kicking the guys behind, which I'm sure if I spent a bit more time when it's gluing them down and planned it out, it could have probably avoided, but I didn't. So I just made a movement tray that was a little longer, and there's some gaps there. Um, I guess in real game, if they get f flank charged, it might be an issue, but otherwise it's probably not a problem. So, uh, yeah, I really like uh, the, the size of this unit. I don't know if I'll ever use them as a f one full unit, but... Uh, Pretty neat, pretty impressive looking, and um, really great, great models. Lots of character in them, very dynamic poses on them, and uh, lots of great options for all of these weapons. And in fact, I got lots of extra weapons, so I was able to um, I was able to keep those and mix those in with my uh, boys' mobs as well. And you can see, sort of mixing the red in there helps unify them as a unit, and uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. You can check out my blog. Uh, it's like watching paintry.blogspot.com. And uh, check out my other videos. Subscribe and share it with your friends. There's a small unit of five guys just to see what they look like on their own.